Hey, so I wanted to uh, do sort of my first video talking about the changes that I've been making in my life and uh, the transformation that I've been making of uh, a lot of things, eating habits, fitness, and uh, my body. Um, uh, my heaviest about uh, two years ago I was 258 pounds and uh, high blood pressure, tired all the time. Uh, run down, you know, wasn't active at all, pretty much sedentary, you know, even with my job, I drive a lot, which means I'm sitting, and, uh, you know, I've got a lot of injuries from everything from football, basketball, um, car accidents, uh, fights when I was younger, um, you know, and I have a lot of old scars and pains and, um, for a long time, I've used that as an excuse why not to work out, and I, you know, I finally got to the point where if I'm going to be in pain either way, might as well get fit, might as well lose weight. One of the real inspirations for me, oddly enough, was uh, I've been following arm wrestling for quite a while, and uh, I knew that if it's something I wanted to do, I would have to um, have to get in shape to get stronger, and so then that that led up to if I'm going to get in shape. Um, I'm gonna have to eat better because what's the point of working out if I'm gonna continue to feeding myself heavy carb loaded foods and eating at bad times of the day drinking too much beer <laughs> and so on um, and forgive me for the background spinning around I'm just kind of walking around in my backyard uh, thinking as I talk but <sighs> literally less than two months ago um, I just decided that I was tired of being tired and tired of being sick, tired of making excuses. And I, I sort of had to do some self-talk to say, there's no one that can stop me from maximizing what I can do with my body and uh, just seeing what the potential is. You know, I'm almost 48 years old, so it was important for me to do it now. You know, I, st I should have started years ago, but so when I started this, I was about 200 and this is literally, like I said, less than two months ago, I was around 250. Uh, maybe a little bit above, give or take. Um, right now, say seven weeks later, I'm at 222 pounds. But what, did I, what I started doing was, I started getting up every day at 6.30. Um, you know, I got up, at, I would get up at 6.30, make a protein drink, go to the gym, um, you know, work out different muscle groups, strength training, um, a lot of stretching. Um, I would do 20 to 30 minutes of elliptical, some swimming, and just consistently doing that and then also eating better you know from morning morning every morning i have a protein shake um some days i'll make eggs and bacon things like that generally the only days i'm doing that is if it's a rest day uh, where i actually have more time in the morning just to kind of hang out and cook and, and and take my time i want to make sure I, I feed myself really good protein and i'll even you know take in some some good quality carbs anyway um, not junk food but good carbs on those rest days and a little bit before I work out, I'll do some carbs. But most days I'm working out like six days a week, five to six days a week. I'm being active. I'm working out and exercising. And what I do, so in the morning I have a, I have a protein shake. It's milk, protein powder, uh, frozen bananas, and uh, peanut butter. And then, you know, um, I might have like a, a beef jerky mid-morning mid after workout. Beef jerky, um, a kind bar, something that's high protein. Um, Sometimes I'll, I'll do something that has a little bit of carbs just for, for energy if I'm real tired from working out. Then lunchtime, you know, it's, it's usually like chicken, a uh, salad with chicken on it or a lot of chicken, beans, um, chili. You know, it's just really cutting the carbs out, cutting breads out for the most part, sugars, absolutely no desserts. Um, and, you know, I never could do these things before when it was just about, well, I guess just need to get in shape. And so... The whole thing for me that triggered motivation was, you know, desiring to get strong and do arm wrestling and got involved in the arm wrestling club and uh, been taking part in those practices and it does kill your arm uh, when you're first starting to do it. Uh, but, you know, just pushing through kind of the phrase that I've, I've continued to tell myself, whether it's to do an extra set or to get up when I'm tired or to stay active, clean house, do something around the house when I feel like sitting down, just taking every little moment to push through the temptation to do nothing or the, the, the temptation to do 
uh, less than I could or should be doing. So kind of me personally just pushing through, pushing through pain. You know, I've got old injuries. There's some things that don't that, that never stop hurting. Um, and I try to be wise to make sure the difference between an injury and just old scar tissue uh, pains and aches that come from working out at 47 years old. Um, but you know, it's just, uh, it's life changing. It's made me, I think, a better dad. I'm a lot less stressed. It's a great stress reliever. I'm, I love my kids better. You know, I show them more patience. I'm, I'm more kind, you know, with my wife too. She you knows she likes that I have more energy to help. And, um, you know, I just, I'm more vibrant and energetic and uh, it's exciting. And I just want to encourage everyone, stop listening to your own excuses. I was the king of that. And uh, you're, it's doing nothing for you, but putting off opportunities to change your life. And so I know when you're not working out or when you're not doing the things you want to do, listening to someone talk about what they're doing can be difficult. You don't want to hear it. Um, so I definitely know I'm not trying to come across as preachy, but I just want to encourage you. I mean, literally in like seven weeks, six weeks, I have lost, you know, around 30 pounds, gained significant. I'm, I'm seeing muscle development like never before. I can actually see my abs a little bit now. Uh, you know, I'm not doing this video to show my body. That's not something I'm interested in doing. It doesn't really matter. I don't really care what anyone else thinks about it anyway. It's about my own personal satisfaction and uh, reaching goals. And so I hope this is helpful for any of you guys that are kind of teetering on that. You know, man, I need to do something. Just do it. Just, just stop telling yourself you can't. You know, get angry at yourself in some ways. Sometimes I have to get pissed off at myself and say, damn it, stop stop being lazy do something just be active do something i don't care if you just start walking around your neighborhood get a bicycle start riding a bicycle join a gym is the most important thing but get weights at home do whatever i have resistance bands set up in my vehicle now that i continually use work out different areas of my forearms biceps chest it's, it's really interesting what you can do with resistance bands in your vehicle and i drive so much that even when i'm sitting now i'm doing something and it's just my body is responding rapidly and it's exciting and i just wanted to kind of share this maybe once a month or so i might document this continued growth and change um but i hope this is helpful to somebody uh, you guys have a good day god bless